Recently, Tesla launched a new pilot program where its supercharger is capable of charging other electric cars. The world's richest electric car automaker is at the forefront to promote EVs and make it mainstream within the next decade if possible. Now, you might be curious to know whether other electric cars can use Tesla's chargers. What do you think? Can Tesla's supercharger really charge EVs from other automakers? Stay tuned and watch the video right until the end to see the truth. Recently, Tesla is working to make its charging services available to other automakers. The testing is currently taking place in the Netherlands, at 10 different locations throughout the country. Dutch drivers of electric vehicles other than Tesla can access Tesla or supercharger stations via the Tesla application. Tesla drivers, meanwhile, can continue to use these stations, and the company will closely monitor each location for congestion. Tesla operates more than 25,000 superchargers worldwide, while other car makers have formed alliances or invested in network startups as they rush into the new electric vehicle market. Superchargers are open to cars with a combined charging system preferred by BMW, Mercedes-Benz Daimler, Ford and the Volkswagen Group, including Audi and Porsche. Tesla uses the CCS standard in Europe, which allows a wide range of cars to be charged in stations without an adapter that uses a similar connector. The prices charged for drivers outside Tesla would include the additional cost of supporting a wide range of vehicles and adjusting the space for those vehicles, Tesla said. Tesla, which surpassed the $1 trillion market capitalization for the first time this year, resisted supply chain problems and global chip shortages and recorded a record quarter in-car delivery as demand grows. Its investment in new factories pays off. Tesla CEO Elon Musk has been talking about opening the network for years and has previously said how other manufacturers have access to the offer, but none have done so. That is about to change. In detail in a blog post published by Tesla, the pilot project will make 10 supercharger stations in the Netherlands accessible to other electric vehicles. Drivers of these cars must use the Tesla smartphone application. They then click on the new Charge Your Non-Tesla option and add a payment method to get started. The pilot project is currently limited to electric car owners living in the Netherlands rather than those from another country. Tesla drivers can continue to use chargers as usual. It is also true that Tesla drivers can use the same Tesla application to charge any other electric car they also own. All superchargers, which are compatible with non-Tesla cars, use CCS connections, as is now familiar with fast-charging electric cars sold in Europe. Tesla does not specify exactly how much access to the supercharger will cost other EV drivers. Instead, the company states, prices for non-Tesla drivers reflect the additional costs involved in supporting the charging of a wide range of vehicles and adapting our site to suit those vehicles. Rates vary by location, and you can view the charging price in the Tesla app. Price charged per kilowatt hour can be reduced through the toll membership. Tesla said, it has always been our ambition to open a network of supercharger electric vehicles manufacturers other than Tesla, thereby encouraging more drivers to go electric. This step directly supports our mission to accelerate the global transition to sustainable energy. More customers using the supercharger network allow for faster expansion. Our goal is to learn and iterate quickly while expanding the network aggressively, so we can finally welcome Tesla and third-party drivers to every supercharger around the world. The company now operates more than 25,000 charging stations worldwide, according to the Tesla website. If Tesla opens a significant number of its charging stations in the U.S., especially if it is able to power cars from renewable energy sources there, it can benefit from new government funding, such as grants, tax breaks, discounts, or green energy credits, which it will be able to sell. The exact types of credits would be at the discretion of the various state and federal agencies that operate environmental programs and green credit schemes. In the first quarter of 2021, Tesla reported sales of regulatory credits of $518 million. The company is expected to release an update to its Q2 earnings, including new supercharger numbers and regulatory credit sales on Monday 26. It has always been our goal to open the supercharging network to non-Tesla EVs and by doing so, to encourage more drivers to use electricity, a Tesla spokesperson said. This move directly supports our mission to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy. The chargers will work with an electric car with a combo charging system port. Global manufacturers use such systems, including BMW, the Mercedes-Benz manufacturer Daimler, Ford and the Volkswagen Group. 
Non-Tesla drivers who want to use one of the company's supercharging stations will need to download the app and create an account. Users will then be able to search for non-Tesla locations. However, there will be additional costs for non-Tesla drivers. This move by Tesla can bring in extra revenue and if the test proves successful, they'll spoon be implemented in the United States. That's all for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.